let's go ahead and continue building our organization here and we'll add the rest of the users in our groups so we can actually go in later and apply some group policy and we'll look at some different permissions and things um, let's create some new people let's see um, Paris Hilton will be an enemy agent and I don't hate Paris Hilton I actually think she's kinda cute I like her I'm just using her as an enemy agent I don't know why So don't think I'm a Paris Hilton hater, please. Um, in our research, let's go ahead and we'll add Einstein. We brought him back from the grave just to work for our super secret spy organization. Smart guy. Heavy intellect there. He would be a great asset to our quest for world domination. Um, another guy that was brilliant and often considered often considered a crackpot but I think just misunderstood as Tesla and let's bring him and with a simple password and another guy Niels Bohr I'm trying to think of somebody else who oh I know just because I really liked his series Cosmos and he was real cool can't think of what we'll actually do with Carl Sagan, but you just never know. We'll bring him back from the dead. Okay, so here are our top research scientists. Here are our enemy agents, Paris Hilton, Dr. Evil, Barney Rubble. Our top agents, now we don't have any top agents. What we want to do is move Austin Powers. He's going to be top agent in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, you have to be careful when you move items because by going in and out of different OUs, different group policy objects will apply to them and permissions will change. And we should get a warning about this when I move them. So I'm going to move them into top agents. And notice I get a warning. Moving objects in Active Directory Domain Services can prevent your existing system from working the way it was designed. And it's just letting you know, hey, you, you're going to change permissions on this object. And I'll say yes. And I like to leave the warning intact. I mean, I pretty much most of the time realized that, but you never know, you might forget, and it's nice. It's just nice when Active Directory reminds you of things. It can be so polite sometimes, um, and forgiving of our human inconsistencies. Now let's create some groups, and we'll sign some permissions. We want to follow Microsoft's AGU DLP strategy. So first of all, there are some resources that we want to either allow or deny access to, depending on you know, what a user's group membership is and what their security credentials are. And that is the folder Secret Plans, has a Doomsday device and a teleporter. And there's the top secret folder, BioWarfare Death Phase, MK Ultra, Mind Control, Monarch Mind Control, Nuclear Weapons, and World Domination. If you're ever bored one night, type in Monarch Mind Control in Google and stay up all night cowering with paranoia and wondering if it could be true. Um, I don't think they actually produced a successful Manchurian candidate, but if they did, then how would we know? Because if they were successful, then no one would know they were a Manchurian candidate, and who knows, maybe they have. Uh, but it is kind of interesting bit of history. They did really mess some people up back then. They were experimenting with LSD and just different psychological and, and brainwashing techniques. And they messed up one lady so bad, she forgot how to talk and couldn't feed herself, had to learn how to basically you know, feed yourself, talk, go to the bathroom all over again. Pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Pretty amazing what you, you know, what the human mind can withstand. Um, in this case, we want to assign permissions to these objects. So let's go into Active Directory Users and Computers. And what we want to do is, we've added the users, that's the A part, and we'll just work in the Northern Hemisphere for now. Now we want to do the G part, which is adding the global groups. And I'm going to go New, and Group, and enemy agents and I want to add all my enemy agents to that group so for members we had Barney Rubble, we had Dr. Evil who else was our enemy agent? Paris Hilton alright so we had those three and I want to go to research and I'm going to create a new global group and 
make it consistent, I'll just make it the same name as the organizational unit that it's in. And I want to add Carl Sagan, Einstein, and we'll add Tesla. A lot of people think Tesla was a crackpot, but actually he was a genius. Another good time if you're ever bored one night, type you know Nicholas Tesla into Google, see what you come up with. PBS has a really good website on him, but he's basically the father of the modern power grid and the inventor of radio, although people argue until they're blue in the face that it was Marconi. Remember that Marconi used 17 of Tesla's patents. Um, and posthumously, we actually, in order to save having to pay Italy some money, we did award him the patent for the radio. Um, let's go to Top Agents, and we'll go ahead and add a group, and we need to add Austin Powers to our Top Agents Global Group, and Austin Powers, and let's go to Trainees and add a group, and this is our last group, so I just wanted to show you something. Notice the different types of groups. Distribution groups are for mailing lists, like Exchange. Security groups are for the purpose of assigning permissions. Here are your three types, Domain, Local, Global, and Universal. Notice that if I... Let me, let me modify a group here. Let me go ahead and... We'll go ahead and create a global security group. And let's go ahead and call this... Trainees. Let me open this. And notice Domain Local is grayed out. So I can't, why can't I change to domain local? Well, I can, but I have to do this first, universal and then apply. And then it's no longer grayed out. And then I can go domain local, but then when I do that, global is grayed out. So just remember to switch back and forth. You have to go to universal first, and then you can go to global. And there's security and distribution right there. And for members, I want to add Scooby. He's my trainee. And notice on the user tab, too, the user also has a member of tab. And the user is a member of trainees. There's his global group. Now he's also a member of domain users. By default, all of our agents are members of domain users. Everyone's added to that group by default when they're created. So a user can be a member of you know multiple groups, many groups. And each of those groups may have different sets of permissions, but that user gets the cumulative set of permissions. Um, and it's the most permissive accumulation of those permissions. Uh, in other words, if the user is a member of domain users and they can't access a folder, but the user is also a member of research and they can, then the user will be able to access that folder. The only exception to that rule is when you explicitly deny a group or user permission on something. Explicitly doesn't work within the inheritance hierarchy. And so it will override any other multiple group membership that that user may have. In other words, if our user is a member of research and he's also a member of domain users and research has been you know you know allowed full permission on the top secret folder but the main users has been explicitly denied in other words we checked the deny box we'll look at this in a moment and ace is on the dcl then even though he's a member of research and has full permission on top secret he's not going to be allowed in to see that folder because he's also a member of domain users and they were explicitly denied permission to see that folder so we'll take a look at that and how permissions work. Anyway, we've, we're following AGU DLP. We've done the A part, added the user. We've done the G part, um, creating our global security groups and adding our users to that. If it applied, if we had multiple domains, we could add universal groups. But we're in one domain now, just pirates arg. So we won't, you know, we're bypassing the U. So we've done just AGU. Now we get to the domain local part. In this case, in the domain local part, we'll create a domain local security group. And this is for the purpose of assigning permissions. That's about it. So I'm going to go with the group here. I'm going to go with the main local. And I'm going to go with top secret access. And let's do, what was the other folder called? Secret plans. Secret plans access. And I'm going to go with, let's do one more, and top secret deny. Uh, 